Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Wednesday, the 11th day of May, which is the third day of ER. Today's Halacha, a one-day topic for you, and that is, you know that you're not supposed to make duplicates of the uh, actual vessels that were in the Beis Hamikdash in the temple. We have like a special, special ark, the way it was made in the uh, Beis Hamikdash in the temple. And for us to make duplicates of it and say, I want to have a model of it in my home, is not considered an appropriate thing to do. Um, so you might figure, well, don't worry about it. I am making no models of the shulchan of the of the table that was in the base of Mikdash. But I'll tell you where this does apply. It actually applied in our very own home. Because of this law, there's a pretty strict, a lot of rabbis adhere to this and say that if you're ever making a candelabra in your house, a menorah, you'd have to be very careful that your menorah does not have seven branches on it because seven branches was exactly what the menorah of the Beis Hamikdash of the temple looked like. And if you made a seven branch menorah for your home, you would be kind of sort of mimicking what was in the Beis Hamikdash and you're not allowed to do it. Now in Hanukkah, we're all safe because we are making something that has uh, eight lights on it and really a ninth one, which is the Shamash. And so it doesn't resemble the one in the Beis Hamikdash at all. But like this applied in our home, our particular home, because what a lot of people like to do is buy a menorah that fits exactly the number of candles or oil lights for the number of people in your family. Well, we have Kanainahara seven in our family, and so a seven-branch candelabra for Shabbos would have been the perfect thing to purchase in our home. And uh, we found out that that's not really appropriate. And as a matter of fact, when we went to the silver store, I won't tell you which one because I'm not sure if I should do commercials here. But uh, the ladies there at the silver store told us you cannot buy a seven-branch uh, candelabra because of this very law. And uh, so I'll tell you what we did. This is what people commonly do whenever they're seven in their family and they wa want to buy a seven-branch menorah. That is, they buy an eight-branch menorah and just put a beautiful decoration in that middle eighth one. So it's made out of eight. So you clearly didn't mimic the one that's in the temple. And um, and you light the seven that are all around with, uh, with your lights and everything. That's what we did in our family. Because again, you're not supposed to ever mimic any of the vessels of the temple. Now you might say, wait a minute, I'm not mimicking the vessel of the temple here. There were all kinds of knobs and flowers and buttons on the on the one in the temple and the one in your home doesn't resemble that at all. Still, you see, th those were, if there were some of those missing, the menorah would still be considered a kosher menorah. And that being the case, uh, yours in your home, which doesn't have those buttons and knobs and whatevers, would be considered too similar. So bottom line is, don't mimic any of the things that are in the temple. Don't make yourself a model, our own, for your home, or a menorah with seven things on it, or um, anything that mimics the Mizbeach, the altar, or anything like that. You're really not allowed to do that. And if you do have to buy a seven candelabra thing for your house for Shabbos, as we did, buy an eight and put something on that eighth spot, like a... Oh, something beautiful or whatever, and uh, you, you can light seven as long as the actual candelabra has uh, eight things on it. Then you're not considered mimicking that which was in the temple. Hope that makes sense. Thanks for logging on, and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.